Hey guys, I want to do a little bit of a follow-up on my last video, you know, where I was talking about the attitude of the player, and I was criticizing people whose sole purpose is to do damage into BG. So Overlord Moon here says, well, in this debate, both sides can be right and both sides, you know, can be wrong, basically. And he says the reality is it's somewhere in the middle between those two things, and he's absolutely 100% correct. But I need to clarify that the people I was criticizing in the video were people who place doing top damage over winning. That is, if they have a choice to make between this action will help me top damage versus this action will help me win the BG, they'll take the action that tops damage every time. I'm talking about people that go into meaningless team fights that don't help their team in any way. You know, some people might call this road fighting. Right, where they're not fighting in a way that helps their team win at all. That's all I'm talking about. However, many times, doing big damage and getting a lot of kills in the team fights that do matter is very important. So that's where I disagreed with Markers because Markers said, you know, damage doesn't really matter in this format. And I don't agree with that. And you'll see later on, I say, well, damage does matter, <laughs> you know. Doing top damage, doing top killing blows can definitely help your team win if you're doing that damage and killing blows in fights that matter. That is the distinction and the difference here. In fact, people that excel at team fights and do big damage and get a lot of killing blows complement people who are doing objectives. They help each other do their jobs. You see, if I'm doing objectives, then you know I'm off away from the big team fight if my team is losing that team fight, then when I'm doing injectives, instead of having like a 1v1 or a 2v2 at an off base, I end up having like a 1v3 or a 2v5 at the off base because my team is dead, their team is not dead, and their team can rotate over and help the people I'm attacking at an off base. See, that's why having a strong team fight helps the objective players do their job. So they complement each other. They're not like versus each other. In fact, I talk about this in an older video. Let me find it. Okay, here it is. It's an older video. It's on my Enhancement Shaman. It's a full Warsong Gulch Blitz. And it's uh, labeled as Commentary, Objectives versus Team Fight. In the description I say, it really should not be Objectives versus Team Fight. It should be Objectives and Team Fight. Players who do objectives and players who team fight complement each other. They don't compete against each other. The problem is that players who do objectives are often undervalued because few people see the things they are doing to help their team win. So there's this big emphasis that doing damage is the most important thing in the BG. And that is not true. In fact, I think that doing objectives is more important than doing damage. However, you need to have both. If you want an easier match, it's best to have both. A strong team fight and someone who is paying attention to the objectives. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, link this full video here, this Warsong Gulch Blitz on the Enhancement Shaman, at the end screen of this video because it's actually, I think, a really good commentary that talks about these two things and how they complement each other. Also, I highly suggest checking out Moon's channel. His uh, tag is Overlord Moon. He's putting up some guides for the different Battleground Blitz or Solo Q RBG maps. Uh, so far, he has Eye of the Storm and AB up. And these are more of a big picture overview of the maps. You know, he shows you what the map looks like. He talks about how the scoring is done, you know, the basic objectives. So he's giving you the big picture overview of the uh, maps and it's pretty comprehensive notice that this video right here is 33 minutes long now what i'm doing is i'm showing more like specific examples via game gameplay with what i'm doing uh, so i'm taking what he's talking about in his big overviews and i'm showing those ideas and concepts put into practice so i think that it's helpful for learning players to actually see both of these formats they complement each other in helping people learn in the same way that someone who's doing team fights in a BG and someone that's doing objectives in a BG actually complement each other in helping their team win. 
Okay, so that is it for this one all. Take care.